From calorie count to portion sizes, we wanted to find out all the differences between Taco Bell in Japan and the US. This is FoodWorks. In Japan, Taco Bell standard tacos come in orders of one, two tacos with fries and a drink. Or you can get five pack. Or you can get 10 pack. In the US, our standard Taco Bell tacos come in orders of one, three with a medium drink, or this, the 12 taco party pack. Check this out. I mean, they're not kidding when this is a party. You roll into any party with this, you are, you are the party winner, right? So this is a beef taco supreme. It measures five inches. Our beef taco supreme that's falling apart because I'm an idiot is exactly five and three fourths inches. And let's weigh this. And it weighs. It weighs 100 grams. Looks like about 120 grams. And this one is our burrito in Japan. And let's measure it five inches. Our bean burrito is six and three eighths inches long and it weighs good. It weighs 220 grams. Just a, a hair over 250 grams. Yeah, ours weighs more. Hooray. <laughs> Here's our crunch wrap screen. It measures six inches across. Let's go. Boom. It weighs exactly 250 grams. A personal favorite, the Crunch Wrap Supreme. Oh man. Oh, guys. I mean, you get the idea, but it's just its just like a thing of beauty when they have the whole thing folded properly. Plus also now all my, I'm getting the sides kind of exposed. Across, it's exactly six inches. Huh? Illuminati stuff coming at you. Six sides, six inches. Nate, we're onto them, here they come. <laughs> if we go point to point, it is the less interesting six and a half inches. So we'll weigh it. You have no idea how bad I just wanna take a huge bite out of this thing. It weighs a respectable 300 grams. That to me sounds exactly right. At the Japanese Taco Bell, the biggest menu item is the variety set pack. It includes two grilled burritos, which is chicken, and two chick stars, which is fried chicken crunch wrap screen. And here is four crunch tacos, which is beef. And here is nachos, all for 5,000 yen, or around $45.49 US. Did George just say 45 49 for the, just the largest menu item? That can't be right. That is so much money. Everything on this end is $157. Just their largest thing was almost 46 bucks. That's wild. The biggest single menu item we have in here in the United States is the before mentioned Taco Bell party box. This is exactly what it looks like. It's a pack of 12 tacos. And in America, this runs you $22.99 or around 2,526.80 Japanese yen. So here is everything you can only get at Taco Bell in Japan, you cannot get in the US. And here's everything you can get at a US Taco Bell you can't get in Japan. Probably. I'm very confused. I don't know what half of this stuff is. So these are Japan's special menu items, but before getting started, I gotta mention one thing. Is that I have never tried Taco Bell before. This is my first time. I'm so excited. George, I can't believe this is your first time trying Taco Bell. Uh, congratulations, and I'm sorry. So here is Naked Chicken Taco. I don't know why it's called Naked. Let me try. Mmm. This shell is not the usual taco shell. It's actually Chicken shell. You rock my world. So here is DIY taco kit. I'm gonna make my own special tacos, which is called George's Special Tacos. GSG. 
Yo! I'm gonna go with this crunchy shell. I don't have spoons, so I have to do like this. And one more time. You gotta be gentle. I'm going to use this one. I have a good idea. I gotcha. Put some lettuce. Put some cheese. Tomato. Hi. I prefer mild. Ooh. This is what we call GST. Itadakimasu. George just made his special taco, and it is like the most average taco. He, he was like, he was like meat, cheese, tomatoes, and so. Hate to break it to you, George, but you made like, a, you just made a, 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 like a soft shell taco. What would my taco be? What would my Joe's signature Taco Bell taco? Dorito shell, right? Everyone's on their head. Follow me so far. Wrap it in a gordita, right? Then the steak. Okay, then tapatio. I don't know if that's on the menu there. That queso from Chipotle. <laughs> that's, that's good, right? I could put that on there. Guacamole. There's a taco chain in the Midwest called Taco John's, and they have these little potato things called potato olays. So I put some potato olays from Taco John's on there. So we have it. Then we deep fry it. I need a dipping sauce. What would I, what would I, uh, what, if I was to dip, what would I dip it in? Give me a sauce. Sour cream. Sour, you know what, like, sour cream, you out of your mind? Terrible. What do you think? You guys are terrible. You don't know what that is talking about. As, as a ranch, we'll go with ranch. Spicy mayo. This guy's criminal over here. Like, let's Taco Bell, guys. Get real. There's Joe's and only Joe's signature taco. Get it going. It's got a collab with Chipotle and Taco John's. <laughs> USA exclusive tacos at the Taco Bell. Taco Bell or Doritos or both had the brilliant idea of going, why don't we make our shell like a Dorito? And for some strange reason, they still have non-Dorito shell tacos, which I don't understand why, because it is far superior to any other regular taco shell they have on their menu. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. I'm, I'm salivating looking at this. Nothing, including oranges, are this orange naturally. This is just a whole level of food, chemical engineering, and I applaud it. Doritos, Taco Bell, here we go. Oh my God, so good! George, you gotta come to America, you gotta try this. Chalupa Supreme, I'm assuming that's this. The black bean chalupa, well, we always saw that. Yeah, that's the thing that looked like a <laughs> itself. The Cantina Crispy Melt. It has a deep fried shell. And then other than that, beans, all the veggies. And then this must be a crispy melt. The gorditas crunches are they take a regular taco covered in melted cheese, nacho cheese, and then wrap a uh, tortilla around it. Taco Bell answered my prayers by making a gordita crunch that has, in fact, the Dorito shell inside of it. They use, the, yeah, and they use cheese to melt it to the hard shell. Best idea ever. Gotta know. Yeah. Yeah. Something stuffed in something with melted cheese is everything I want. Is it good? Yeah. Are you a vegetarian? Is that why you've had it? No. Oh. Why would you get not meat at Taco Bell? Yeah. Okay, I understand. All right. T to each their own. The spicy potato soft taco. I hear from a very good source, very reliable sources, this is good. So, gotta know. Oh, yeah, dude. This is good. What's the sauce that's on here? We did not have available the loaded chicken flatbread or the loaded black bean flatbread. Uh, they are on the website. They weren't available here. We've got cheesy core burrito. We've got cheesy beef burrito. We've got chick star, which is fried chicken crunch wrap spring. Burritos, I'm already tired. Quesarito, beefy five layer burrito. Burrito Supreme, Black Bean Crunch Up Supreme, Cheesy Roll. Did we see the Chicken Chipotle Melt? Yeah, that was the one I ripped open was the Chicken Chipotle Melt. So here is Japan's only side menu. We've got crispy chicken. Our Taco Bell in the US, you can get a side of black beans and rice or guacamole. 
So here are a few menu items that are the same, but so different between Japan and the US. Our nachos come like this. The chips and toppings are separate. I got two avocado sauce and tomato and cheese and sour cream. And in the US, and also Mexico, I assume, you get your nachos with everything already piled on the chips. Up until recently, I thought one of the key descriptors of nachos is that it's chips with stuff piled on it. But in Japan, they give you the chips, as you could see, and they have like each ingredient in a cup and you can kind of mix it. I think that is ridiculous. This is what nachos are. I know this like, these are Taco Bell nachos. They also have the make your own taco kits and then they get the make your own uh, nacho kits. Uh, don't do that. We call our chips Mexican chips and they are tortilla chips that are flavored. Doing a complete 180, I am very jealous that Japan has flavored tortilla chips. I like tortilla chips just fine. Um, the nacho cheese at Taco Bell, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's just okay. But I think flavored chips with this cheese would actually be really good. We'll take an L on that one, but it's the only one we've taken this whole video, so that's fine. Our loaded fries in Japan are topped with beef and cheese and sour cream. And here in the US, our loaded fries are not existent. Wasn't on the menu at the one I went at. They are on the website. I don't know if it's just a Southern California Taco Bell thing. Our load of fries have beef, lettuce, ranch, red strips, cheese, and tomatoes. Sounds very good. We were supposed to have Taco Bell desserts as well, but the store I went to didn't have them. So here's a list. Ice cream, premium ice cream, cinnamon tostada, and chocodilla. I want to try chocodilla. That's all I can say. Our desserts, we have these little guys, Cinnabon Delights. We all know what Cinnabon is. We all like to be delighted. Looks like a little munchkin that may or may not be Cinnabon flavored. Let's find that together. Holy shit. So these are our Japan only drinks. We've got Coke and Coke Zero. Drinks! Sip, sip, baby. Look at all these colorful drinks. You eat and drink with your eyes, so I've been told. So naturally, the whole color of the band chemical rainbow right in front of me here with every yellow number this, red number that, blue and the whatever. So I'm gonna assume none of these are in Japan because of whatever's inside of them. I'm just gonna list, I'll just do like a few hits. Pepsi, we know that, right? They got Coke, we got Pepsi. Sierra Mist, I hate that so much. Baja Blast, oh God. This is Mountain Dew Baja Blast right here. More on this in a moment. <laughs> oh, good God. Also we have here is Mountain Dew Kickstarter Orange. This actually rules. So this uh, urine Pantone color beverage can only mean one thing, that it was swiped up the side of a dewy mountain. Ladies and gentlemen, Mountain Dew. I will go to my grave knowing that flavor all too well. I don't know why this don't have regular fruit punch. They have the Gatorade, the G2 Gatorade fruit punch. Pink lemonade. So I heard that pink lemonade is just lemonade that's dyed pink. It just tastes like lemonade. What's in pink lemonade that makes it pink? It was, it was originally like, uh, it was invented by, uh, I think like a traveling circus and they just did it kind of like to get people to buy it. Like it was a novelty, it was pink instead of regular lemonade color. But I, I'm assuming now they do something, they must do something in pink lemonade to make it taste. That's lemonade. What makes pink lemonade different from lemonade? I want to know. Our Taco Bell also has coffee and iced coffee. And although I would never drink this unsweetened iced tea. Taco Bell's got breakfast in the US and I have to say, I think that their breakfast menu is fantastic. If it looks a little scarce, it is because I don't think they gave me everything and I'm confused on what some of these things are because everything's kind of wrapped. They used to have like a, didn't they used to have like a waffle taco? Maybe, the, maybe I'm just imagining that. They got a cheesy toasted breakfast burrito and a cheesy toasted breakfast burrito with potato. And of course they have a hash brown toasted breakfast burrito, which I think is this. Hash brown toasted breakfast burrito with steak, which is right here. And of course the grand toasted breakfast burrito, which is right here. And of course they have the grand toasted breakfast burrito with steak. And then they have a 
breakfast crunch wrap. Yo, this one has eggs and potato in it. It looks ridiculous, but for real, when these are hot at like 9.30 in the morning, you can't beat this, as a matter of fact. This is so good. Even sitting out for a couple hours, it's still awesome. Taco Bell's breakfast is great. It's, there are no McGriddles, but if a McDonald's isn't available, I go right to Taco Bell breakfast. You can also get yeah, hash brown, can you see in there? Breakfast salsas, these are really good. Orange juice, my homies over at Tropicana, hold it down. Let's talk about nutrition. In Japan, a beef crunchy taco is 164.4 calories. It has 87.2 grams of protein, 5.5 grams of fat, 14.7 grams of carbs, and 293 milligrams of sodium. In the US, our standard beef crunchy taco is 170 calories, 8 grams of protein, 9 grams of fat, 13 grams of carbs, and 310 milligrams of sodium. So we lead in calories, fat, and sodium, where Japan has more protein and carbs. The next one is the chicken quesadilla. Ours has 492.51 calories. This one has 510 calories. One thing to note that in both countries, one of these quesadillas hovers around half of your daily sodium. Sodium at Taco Bell appears to be such an issue that on the US menu online, certain combos and items like this one right here are labeled with sodium warnings. In Japan, a crunch wrap spring has 1,290 milligrams of sodium. That's 56% of your daily allowance. Our crunch wrap supreme is 52% your daily sodium. That's more than half, right? Man, so both countries, way too much sodium. Are you looking for the most calories in one menu item? In Japan, it's our loaded fries. One order is 718 calories. It has a third of your daily calories, almost half of your daily fat, and 66% of your daily sodium. In the US, the biggest thing you should look out for are the nachos. The very popular nachos Bel Grande, I love you guys, is 740 calories, 1,050 milligrams of sodium. Okay, now the Cinnabon Delights do have more calories, 930, but technically that's a 12 pack, which is supposed to be for four people. I'm certain if you're like me, you're getting 12 and you're not sharing them. Some do, most don't. But obviously the Nachos Bel Grande is for one person. But the most calories line an item that's on Taco Bell's Cantina menu, which is only available at certain locations here in the US. There you can get something called the Grande Beef Nachos, which has 1,000. 120 calories, which is more than half of your daily allowance and 68% of your daily sodium. Ha! <sighs> now, it's just not the food at Taco Bell. You also have to watch out for the drinks. Here it is, everyone. 30 fluid ounces of Mountain Dew Baja Blast. A beverage that answers the question, what if we combine Mountain Dew's bold, refreshing tropical flavor with crystal meth? This Totally logical, 30 fluid ounces of nightmare fuel is 420 calories, very cool, and 110 grams of sugar. I don't know, I'm sorry, this stuff is making me delirious. Mm. In the US, there are a few ingredients at our Taco Bell you should look out for. Both are in the beverages on the Taco Bell's cantina menu. First is brominated vegetable oil, AKA BVO, which is banned in Japan. BVO is an emulsifier found in citrus flavored sodas and is specifically used with citrus oils and it's considered a health risk when ingested in large amounts. It was brought to public attention when it was discovered in popular beverages like Mountain Dew and Powerade, but due to public pressure, it was removed from Coke and Pepsi products in 2014, which is good. Now, unfortunately, you can still find this ingredient in three cantina menu freezes, the beach berry freeze, the ginger mule freeze, and the party punch freeze. Luckily, they weren't any of the freezes you find in the regular menu, only on the cantina menu. Ugh! Okay, when it comes to citrus flavored soda, we have CC Lemon. That's one of the most popular citrus flavored soda in Japan. CC Lemon contains the following. Sugars, which is fructose glucose syrup, and sugar, and lemon juice, flavoring, vitamin C, acidulant, safflower dye, calcium pantothenate, vitamin B6, carotene pigment. 
That's it. See, it doesn't have brominated vegetable oil. It tastes really good. So that means you can make it delicious without BVO. The last one, Party Punch Freeze, also contains yellow number five, AKA tartrazine, which is subject to restrictions outside of the US in places like the EU and Japan, as it may have adverse effect on activity and attention in children. What the hell? You can tell this color is yellow, right? So why don't you use something else that isn't harmful? Just like CC lemon. CC lemon, hi, CC lemon, hi, CC lemon, hi. Oh, God.